I have a powerful story that I'm really happy to share with you. So yesterday marked the 77th anniversary of my dad's liberation from concentration camp. And I want to share one piece of his wisdom and just talk about kind of how universal that is. So my dad, of course, went through indescribably terrible times and saw his loved ones tortured. And he said that the hate and the desire for revenge that he felt is what saved his life, what kept him alive, what got him through that. But when concentration camp was over and he fell in love and he wanted a family, our family, he realized that that hate, which kept him alive, was now going to kill him if he didn't do something about it. So he began a journey of what he called pulling the hate out. He said, every time I found pieces of hate inside me, I would pull them out little by little. And it took a really long time, like decades, but I would consciously, manually pull the pieces of hate out. And now I find myself free of hate. Such an incredible thing. And what it I'm so touched and grateful for his life. But what it makes me think about is that the ways we had to protect ourselves in our life to get through and to survive ultimately choke us and constrict us and that we have to then, the things that saved us and helped us survive, we have to disassemble piece by piece. But the message from my dad is that we can do it manually. We can do it piece by piece. We can do it over time and with intention. So this is a celebration of the wisdom of learning that's in all of us, how to heal ourselves from the very protections that saved our lives. Thank you and have a great day.